guys. I'm here waiting to meet the man, the myth, the legend, International Stacker. I'm at, uh, what is this place? The Dessert Oasis Coffee Shop down in downtown Detroit. Waiting for him to show up. Let's see how it goes. So guys, we did venture outside. You can see the Desert Oasis coffee shop right there. I am with International Stacker here Woo! in downtown Detroit. We are gonna show some thumbs, but that's about it. What's up guys? How you doing, man? Uh, I got the handshake on my camera, so let's get the handshake on your camera. Here. All right. I'm fantastic. <laughs> I probably doxed myself. <laughs> no, I probably good. doxed myself. Make <laughs> no. sure to edit it out. Edit it out. Oh, no. It didn't show anything but my fingers. Okay. So don't worry. Well, we, we did shake hands there. We did shake hands. But Yeah, we did shake hands. And uh, it was fantastic meeting you. We, you we too, sat man. out here for maybe about a half hour or so shooting the shit. Talked talking. about gold, silver, collectibles. We uh, invested in uh, candles. <laughs> We invested in a young entrepreneur. <laughs> there we go. There you go. He, he had some hustle, and I appreciate that. And I, you know, I gotta tell you, man, I, I really respect the hell out of you. Even you know, learning a little bit more about yourself, and you know, uh, your your fact that you speak three languages, been all around the world. Thanks, well, man. Let me ask you, where's your next destination gonna be? You know, so. Um I was supposed to go to Poland before the beer flu effed everything up. Oh yeah. Um, and that didn't happen. Um, so normally I was traveling overseas nonstop. I'm still planning some overseas travel. I am going to go to Poland, see the Germanian Mint and all that. Um, but probably for the next two to three months, I'm going to be hop scotching or skipping across the entire United States on the hunt for the best LCSs uh, in the game. Now, how would you classify the best LCS? What are you looking for? Um, I look for the shop, how it looks when you go in, um, how friendly people are. I've been in places that are super friendly, and I've been in places where people are freaking hostile. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. So how nice they are, if they're willing to do stuff, if they're cool, whatever. But most importantly, if they have the best deals. So I'm always going in saying, hey, do you have any silver, foreign silver, or any silver you're going to send to the refiner? I'll pay you spot for them. Because if anyone sends anything to the refiner, they take like a 10% hit on it. Okay? No shit. Yeah. Anywhere okay. from 2 to 10%. So if someone's sending something to the refiner, they'll sell it to you for spot all day long. So that's one of the first few questions I ask. And no matter what, even if you don't find that, there's always a deal to be had in a coin shop. Either it's going to be a specific bar that they don't know they have that's good, a specific coin around. Uh, maybe they're going to have something poured silver in there from Silver Dragons or Black Haired Bullion that someone, you know, needed money for and they don't realize what they have. There's always a deal. You just got to search and find it. You're going to find it. So right. those are kind of the things. Um, but like I've been in some where they're like, hey, would you like they have like a VIP section? Hey, would you like a soda? Hey, would you like a coffee? Like I've been in some crazy. Oh, that's fancy. I've been in some crazy LCS. You will not find that around yeah. here. No, I know. <laughs> I'm not expecting that. That was a rarity okay. for sure. So like I, I already promised you I'm going to email you, you know, a couple of uh, local coin shops, at least that are on the east side. Um, the, the one in particular, and I'll mention, you know, I definitely recommend it. Now it is a mess because they just moved over from a place um so they haven't uh, had their stock organized but definitely look at their morgans because lots of good vams they don't look for vams do you know what's sick i was paying 16 dollars and 25 cents a morgan pre beer flu see that's sick isn't that sick <laughs> now it's like 30, 30 bucks yeah, or there, i would say one. 35 yeah. it depends on which one you know that's but, disgusting yeah. why didn't i have thirty thousand dollars to buy him on you know it's mm -hmm. crazy <laughs> Yeah, so let me ask you this also. Uh, how do you how do you like Detroit? You've been here for a couple of days now. And... I've been here like 12 or 14 days. 12 or 14 yeah, days? Yeah. Oh my God. I'm... Yeah, I'm having a great time. I got to see a ball game, traveled around, did some tours of some old landmarks around here. Been working, of course, because that's why I travel so much. I work in emergency management. So on my channel, I do talk about preparedness and different things. It's kind of one of my expertises. Um, but yeah, just traveling, having fun. I've got some good... Uh, uh, live streams I'm going to do around the city in the near future. And I did play poker the other night and I did pretty well there. So Which casino did you go to? I went to um, the Greek. Okay. Greek, right. Greek town. Yeah, yeah Greek town. Yeah, right so. Greek town's a great part of town. I did well there. Have you checked out uh, any of the uh, Coney's? Yeah. So I watched the gentleman from Barstool Sports. He does the pizza reviews, you know, around mm -hmm. the nation. 
and he did a review on Lafayette and All American Hot Dog and uh -huh. the feud between them. So I tried each Coney. I did try. Uh, which one's your favorite? You know, I need to probably do it again. You need I, a tetanus shot leaving each one of those restaurants. I feel like I might have liked Lafayette better. La Lafayette's my favorite. I wanted to like All American better. I really did. Yeah, so I think I like that's Lafayette. the oldest one. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. What? That's uh, that's awesome. I'm glad you're taking your time and seeing the city, man. Yeah, I man. Think that means the world to me. And I think something interesting to your viewers, because I know you do a lot of live streams, but you're telling me you kind of got into gold and silver when the whole beer flu happened and looking oh, yeah. at you know protect your investments and this and that. Like, okay. tell me a little bit more about that. I think your viewers would be interested. Well, you know, a lot of them who've been with me from the beginning know, right? And wait, let's pause right here, everybody. Smash the like button, subscribe if you're not. Do it now. All right, keep going. <laughs> That's awesome. I got the zoom on because my phone has ghost touch. So it was just like a giant finger right there. <laughs> That's a good shot. That's funny. <laughs> it was a great shot. Uh, yeah, well, I appreciate you asking that. You know, um, you know, the, the, the whole COVID experience kept me at home, you know, because I work in the real estate industry and the governor of our state uh, declared us not essential mm -hmm. as that people finding shelter and housing is not essential, right? Uh, so yeah, I had about uh, three months of nothing to do. So I got back into how deep down the rabbit hole did you go? I went so deep. <laughs> I went so deep. <laughs> well, I'm here with you, man. You know, That's it's funny. like so now. Now I can class my, myself as a stacker, but I'm. I love uh, being a numismatist as well. You know, awesome. I love looking at the history of the hey, you coins. You can do and, both. You can do both. Oh, yeah, why not? You know? And that's the thing. People are so militant about being a stacker or numismatist or whatever. It's like, no, yeah. No, you, you know what? Have fun. Stack, collect, do whatever you want to do, flip. Let's, you know, it's all the same goal. It's it, all the same goal. It really is. Yeah. Uh, that's another method of uh, achieving my dynasty. There you, you go. Said. Building that dynastic wealth. Is that a point ring you have on there? Oh, yeah, man. What is that? Uh, Lambo Stacker made this. Oh, let me see. Let me if, see. You, if you know Lambo Stacker, it's uh, American Silver Eagle. Okay. We're going to shoot a short real quick. We're going to, I'm going to shoot a short while he's switching to the shoot. Why not? I'm here with Sharp Eye for coins and look at this epic coin ring. He's filming a video right now. Go to his channel soon to watch this. It's going to be epic. And ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I reveal the secrets of gold and silver. Let's go. Reveal the secrets of gold and silver. Here's the secrets. Stack it to the sky. That's right. <laughs> it's going to protect you. Don't you know? worry about spot price. You know, yeah. just don't worry about it. Get it and tuck it away if you can afford to get rid of that money you know that cash the only reason you're worried about spot price is if you're buying for the short term which mm -hmm. with gold and silver you're gonna lose so don't do it only get into gold and silver if you're planning to hold for the long term and then spot prices are irrelevant you're buying over time that mitigates that that, that takes your uh, dollar cost average and lowers it but the only caveat is if you have a budget and the market dips obviously you'd want to buy stronger into the dip you know what that's i mean that's right but other than that don't let it dictate you like when i first started stacking i was literally watching the spot price every minute of every day like oh my gosh what's happening and now i'm just like whatever it's an easy mistake or easy trap i should say yeah. it's a trap to get into oh yeah. uh, well the wiser words were never spoken you guys i'm gonna uh cut it here you know what i always say take care of yourselves take care of each other Thank you, International Stacker. I appreciate you, you being here and interviewing me, you know? Well, thank you. I guess I'll say, catch you on the next one. Right Woo! On.